Hello again, this is about Clink and Wood, I think it's number two. Can I ask you a question? Can you fall in love at the age of ten? I don't know. All I know is that I did when I was ten. Yeah, and the girl's name, it's ages ago now, was Patricia Ryder. And as far as I remember, she lived at number 22, Eskdale. It's just up Windermere Avenue to the right. And I was crazy about her. And I, I think she liked me too. But anyway, one day, we sort of made arrangements to meet down at the bottom of the hill at uh, Endy's. That was a sweet shop. And, and I, I'd never been in the situation before. Anyway, we said we'd meet there at seven o'clock one night. I, I was shy, I didn't know what to do. But what I did is, I went, we lived in 21 Windermere. I went to the back bedroom to keep a lookout to see whether she'd go through Clinkenwood down to end it, and then I might have gone. But I might not, because I was sort of shy. Anyway, I didn't see her go down, but... I loved her. Even when I was ten, I still loved her. And I think she loved me. But when we used to go to Carmel Dam, or the fairground was on in Carmel, we used to walk past her house. And I wouldn't mind, but I walked past it and then came back. And I kept walking up and down to see if she'd come out. But she never did. But what I want to tell you is that I remember her on the shed of, of Windermere Avenue because I put a name there. I didn't put a full name there and it's there to last forever. I got this tie, you see. Now, you can't wipe away a tie. And I put P-R on the back of the shed and that stands for Patricia Ryder. And if you go to 21 Windermere Avenue, look at the shed, even after all this time, I'm sure it's still there. It's a record of my love for Patricia Ryder. But even at ten, I was a romantic fella. Now, my best friends were the Malloys. I think they were Irish. And they lived at 57 Windermere Avenue. I always remember it because I had 57 varieties. And when I was walking up, there was a lamppost right outside. And I remember the lamppost, so I called in. And they had lots of kids. There was Margaret Malloy. There was Mary Malloy. There was Moira Malloy. I like Moira. She's a gorgeous looking girl. And then there was James. And then there was Edward. And then there was my mate, Michael Malloy. He died when he was 40, so I was a bit sad about that. And I still miss him. But anyway, I made up this game in Clinkenwood Wood. One of the games we do was just jump in the stream. Now, people play with PlayStation now and get fun out of it, but we had great fun jumping across the stream. But the game I made up was Kiss Catch. And you had to catch the girl and then you could kiss her. Yeah, I was ahead of me time, really. But I made it up so I can catch Moira Malloy because I wanted to kiss her, you see. The only thing is that as she was good looking, she was just as fast as she was good looking and I could never catch her. So it was a silly game really because I, if I didn't catch her I never won it. But we had a laugh, we had a great laugh. But all those places in Clinkham Wood, they might be still there today. The figure eight tree with all these branches going up, twisting in and out. We used to try to climb that. And then the wishing well, it was right in the middle of the rhododendrons and a little sort of built up rat. And we used to make wishes there. And then... The bomb hole. Big, big hole at the top of Clinkham Wood. And we used to dash up and down it. We couldn't climb it because it was too steep. But if there was a piece of tin in it. We'd throw bits of stones at see if we can hit the tin. And then at the top of the woods near the bomb hole was Tilly's shop. We bought sweets. Like swizzles, little tiny sweets and tree borry freshers. Used to love those. But... It was great clinking wood when we were a child and the romance and the woods and the games we played. So I'll talk to you again later on, maybe about when we went to St. Peter and Paul's school. So bye for now and good luck.
and anybody from Windermere Avenue or Clinkenwood, let us know about it, especially if it was a long time ago. Bye for now. Bye.